Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. Welcome once again, yes, Atiku Abubakar. Yes, I had to come out to speak. In fact, he made it clear that this election was a rape of democracy. He berated Peter Obi. He said Peter Obi would never have been president even if he won the all of the Southeast and the South South. He said, you know the formula. You have to win certain portions all over the Federation of Nigeria. This is explosive. In fact, I do not think that the swearing in of Tinumbu will happen from what we are seeing. But then we have to keep our fingers crossed. We cannot come to a conclusion. Let us listen to what Ateku Abubakar said. Or oh, did he cry? Do not forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into it. Every presidential election presented our nation and its people the greatest opportunity for a reset. We had everything going for us. A legal framework in the 2022 Electoral Act and the Beavers technology. And the enthusiasm of Nigeria to turn out and in large numbers was an added bonus. However, the dreams and aspirations of Nigerians who braced all the challenges to go and cast their votes on Saturday, 25th of February 2023, were shattered, yeah, shattered. by the conduct of the Independent National Electoral Commission, which failed woefully. Jesus. to live up to expectations. Mamadu, the weekend election was neither free nor fair. Preliminary assessments indicate that it is the worst conducted election since the return to democratic rule. Since I was born. The manipulation and fraud that attended this election was unprecedented in the history of our nation. In broad daylight. I can still not understand why the electoral empire was in such a hurry to conclude collation and announcement of the results, given the number of complaints and irregularities of bypassing of the beavers failure of uploading to the IRV and unprecedented cancellations and disfranchisement of millions of voters in breach of the Electoral Act and the Commission's own guidelines. It was indeed a rape of democracy. A rape of democracy. Having consulted with leaders of our party who are seated here with me and Nigerians from different walks of life, I have come to the conclusion that the processes and outcome of the presidential and national assembly right. election of last Saturday was grossly flawed in every material particular and as such, must be challenged by Jesus. all of them. Jesus. Jesus. Mahmoud, you don't hear? Mahmoud, are you hearing it? Are you hearing it? Are you hearing it? Love you, old man. Are you brother? It's all right. This has been attested by both local and international observers. Yes. Just as I was about to enter this conference hall, the chairman and I read an Austrian report, news report, that the Nigerian drug baron drug has baron. emerged as the president of Africa. Drug baron? My grand drug baron? Kunugu? I want to believe that this was not the legacy that President Muhammad Bupari has promised. For President Buhari, it is not too late to make amends for the good of our country and the future generations and indeed to assure his legacy. This battle to right the wrongs of Saturday is not about me at all. It is, it is not about me. It is about you and it is about the future of those of you who are sitting here. Nigerian drug baron has a magic Nigerian president. It is also a continuation of my battles to deepen democracy and for a better life for our people. It is about the future of Nigerian youth. 
much. Bye bye. I know that Nigerians, especially the youth, are traumatized by the development. But I want to urge them to conduct themselves peacefully. Mm. Like I have done over the years, I assure you that I will commit the rest of my life in ensuring that true democracy, which affirms the supremacy of your votes and your will, will take firm footing and guarantee a stable, prosperous, and peaceful Nigeria. This is more so as Nigeria represents the whole of Africa and the black world. It is my hope that the judiciary will redeem itself. Mm. Ah. This time around, Supreme Court, listen. And rise to the society's expectation. Supreme Court, listen. Is the last hope. Not the last hope. Of our people. Of our people. Supreme In the Court. end, who wins is not as important as the credibility of our elections and electoral processes. That's right. To the justice. I call on all men and women of goodwill to join hands with us in the vanguard to defend our constitution we are, we are together. from the brigandage of anti-democratic forces. We are together. We are together, sir. Finally, I urge Nigerians to remain vigilant and resolute. You have the constitutionally guaranteed right of freedom mm. to choose your leaders. Yes. We will not and I repeat, we will not sit idly by and watch your rights taken from you. Did you hear him? This election will be fought to finish. They are going to fight the results. They are going to fight the winner. They will be fighting the, in court, rigging. Yes, they claim that the election was rigged. They claim that their mandate has been stolen. And this will always be what everybody, every candidate, every party who has not been declared winner will say. Yes, for APC, they are the winner. The election was not rigged. For PDP, the election has been rigged. For Labour Party, this is broad daylight robbery. For sure, AAC, the election never happened. They said there was no collusion at all. That they just simply announced whoever it is that they wanted as the winner. In fact, this is a beginning or the beginning of part two. Uh, like I said before, who knows? Maybe there is not going to be any swearing in because all of them are going to the court. Imagine the rest of the party plus the ones we don't even know, plus the ones we never even heard about. Kwan Kwan saw will go to the court. Is Shiwere going to the court? I don't think he will want to go to the court. Uh, yes, PDP is going to the court. Atiku made it clear that they are going to the court. They are ready to fight this to finish. Yes. They will be going to the court. Labour Party is going to do the same. They are going to follow suit. So, the question a lot of people are beginning to ask is this. Are they going to really, really, in any way, swearing Bola Metinubu as the 16th president of Nigeria? Ah, this one is going to be explosive. Bombshell is going to drop soon. But right now, Bola Metinubu has called for calm. I mean, he's acting presidential. He doesn't want to speak. He has already won it. He will not begin to exchange words with, uh, in quote, people who he believes uh, believes to be, you know, his contender opposition who did not win, who do not understand the politics or cannot play the politics or who had lesser hands. You know, it is always going to be very difficult to kick out um, a party that is on power. Um, like APC is, you know, for them to have kicked out PDP, it took the efforts of AC and PDP, they call them NPDP, and some other party to come together to create that strong force called APC. Even though they are all wicked and corrupt people, for them to be able to hijack the government, they did it using Buhari. And now, according to Tenumbu, he said our agreement is this. I'm going to step down because I was supposed to be your vice. But because of this Muslim Muslim ticket, I didn't go forward. I handed someone over to you. You too, hand someone over to me who is going to be my vice president. And Shetiba was handed over. And to that effect, Tinubu believed that everything is okay. But then we saw all that happened. 
was this not maybe some kind of discussion among them? Like, you know what? We're going to come up with this cashless policy. We're going to come up with some policies. So it will appear as if, you know, everything has been made tight. But don't worry. You will win. You know, there's no limit to what these politicians cannot do. But right now, everyone is going to the court. And as they are going to the court, we will follow them to the court. Yes, we will follow them to the court. Whatever it is that they say, whatever it is that drops, we will definitely bring it out for you guys to know. And you know, as we do on this channel, we analyze everything, everything from the beginning to the end. Yes, this is very explosive. I mean, what is going to happen in the next couple of weeks is going to turn Nigeria into whatever it is that it will turn it into. We know that people are calling for breakup of Nigeria. People don't want Nigeria to remain again. There are people who believe that this election, the votes, this mandate has been stolen from the people. And they believe that Peter Obi is the rightful owner. So now, who is the rightful owner? Is it Ateko Abubaka who believes that this election was rigged in favor of APC? Or is it Peter Obi who believes that this belongs to him? He said the votes of the people have been stolen from them. Voila! This is trouble. Well, let us see how all of this stuff out to be. Don't forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new here. See you in the next. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.